And this is Bill Markley, and I'm interviewing Gary Sayadovich. Sayadovich. Sayadovich, and it's August 1st, 2013. And so thank you, Mr. Sayadovich. Um, first, I'm going to ask you a few questions, just uh, basic ones about your background. What, um, what, what's your birth date and birthplace? 312-32. Okay. Newark, Ohio. Okay. And, and um, did, uh, were your parents living when you went into the children's home? Yes. Okay. What were Back they? during depression, they couldn't uh, take care of us, yeah. so that's where a lot of people went. Yep. Okay. What, what were their names? Uh, the Nicola Seadovich was my father, and uh, Ethel Bell okay. was my mother. Okay. Did you have any brothers and sisters? I had, uh, it, there was one brother and two sisters in the children's home at the same time I was. Oh, okay. There was four of us in there. Okay. And before we get to um, a lot of the children's home information, um, what, 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 have you lived anywhere else besides Newark uh, or Licking County? Since uh, when? Either, uh, bef either before or after you were in the home. Oh, after I was in the home, we went out of it, and we lived up uh, toward uh, on the Martinsburg Road okay. for a while. Okay. Then we moved from there up to uh, Fredonia. Oh, okay. I know where that is. We lived up Fredonia for about a year, and then we moved over to Marianne Furnace. Huh. And uh, then into Hanover. Okay, you got around the county. <laughs> and lived over, well, after the flood of 59, I lived out uh, in Kershockton County for about a year. Okay. Then I moved in, back into Newark, and then uh, down on uh, 16, east of Newark, at Morn. Then I uh, moved over up on Dayton Road. Then I uh, bought this place in uh, 62. Okay, okay, good. And I've lived here ever since. Yeah, okay. Huh. Um, wh what did you do for a living after Children's Home? Well... Uh, I worked with my father for years on uh, rural plumbing, heating, electrical work. Okay. I've cut timber, pulp wood for quite a few years, sold firewood, huh. okay. and I put uh, 40 years in at Kaiser Okay. and retired in 94. Okay. Okay, good. Good. And you, you told me this before we were recording, but... What years was it you were in the children's home? 1937 to uh, 1942. Okay, okay. And uh, do you remember anything about the first, uh, the first, well, I forget now, how old were you when you Five. went in there? Five. Do you remember anything about your first days there? Not too much. Okay. Other than just being a place to stay. Yeah. What What are, what are some other early memories of, of what it was like there, or the other kids, or? Well, we all had uh, good times, and just like normal children. Oh, yeah. And we also uh, worked in the, helped work in the gardens. I helped uh, walk behind a sheave binder hmm. and set up uh, wheat shocks. Huh. And then when uh, they brought them in, we went down and brought them in on the wagon to thrash right there in front of the big uh, cow barn, horse barn. Hmm. Huh. Raise pigs, huh. raise chickens, cows, huh. and we had a big garden there just east of the children's home from where the county drive is down to the first house down there where um, they got that their, uh, had that their, uh, what's the name, uh, recycling house. Yes, I know where that is. Well, the recycling yeah. house is. That was uh, Gardner's house. Okay. When we was huh. in the children's home. The same house as the recycling now. Yeah. Okay. That was the gardener's house. Okay. Huh. I, I remember watching build uh, at their uh, drag line, which we oh, called the walking dredger, at, uh, down there in the latter 40s, or early, latter 30s, 30, about 39, they took it out past South 2nd Street, out throughout the uh, west end of Newark and dredged the Licking River out huh. toward the Staten's Bridge. Okay. And uh, I watched all the old trucks in there. I seen about 1939, 1940, 
the first electric train, diesel electric, huh. that went down the B and O Railroad. Interesting. Now, did the railroad go right behind yes, the home at that time yep, too? Their yards was up there by down behind town. Their main building huh. was up down off of Morris Street there in uh, Newark. Is that where like a roundhouse was? That's and where all the that? roundhouse was. Okay. Huh. Huh. Could you, could you hear the train a lot when you're oh, in the yeah. home? Yeah. yeah. No, well, their yards, their yards was right behind the children's home. Yeah. Where they brought in trains and sorted the cars to go different directions. Interesting. Okay. Huh. And that was down behind the children's home. Huh. Okay. Huh. With those uh, gardening and, and farm jobs, were there any you liked better than others? Any of the duties? Well, we all went out and uh, all, most all the boys went out and done it. Yeah. And huh. help pick uh, peas and stuff, and bring them up to the place to shell and cook. Hmm. Uh, the county building or the county trucks used to go down on the west side of the children's home, down past the horse barn, down to the old county barn. Uh huh. Huh. And then they built that new road up through there to East Main Street. Okay. Yeah. In uh, 40, I think it was 39 or 40, 39, they took the inner urban tracks up huh. out of East Main Street, WPA did. Okay, yeah. And uh, the, then they laid the first yellow brick down the center of a street, huh. and it's still there. Really? What street is that? East Main Street. Oh, okay. It's huh. got blacktop over it now. Oh, yeah. Here, uh, a couple of years or so ago, they took uh, blacktop up, and I still seen the huh. old yellow brick that went down through the center of the street. Interesting. And that was that was like they have the yellow The yellow, yellow line, line center now. line down. Th that was the center yeah. line down through the street. Okay. Huh. Was the whole street brick at that point? Yeah. Huh. It was uh, paving brick. Yeah. But okay. the only thing they done was took up the inner urban uh, line. The old rails for the war, uh -huh. for the steel material out of them. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What are your memories of the wartime? Other other memories? Well, I remember a lot of old songs that uh, were sung during the really? Second World War. Huh. Huh. And we, uh, Zerger there one time, took a, we had a big old truck, big old flatbed truck, Zerger, Used to take us up to the Hollander pools, and let, they had one day for the kids at the children's home to swim. Okay. And then another time, they took us down to uh, over this side of Toboso, uh, off of Black Hand Gordon, went down through the tunnel, uh -huh. and over to Tom Powell's place for a picnic. Hmm. How uh, how often would you get out like that? Do you think? Uh, I think I was out. Well, they'd, uh, every time I had uh, swimming in there in the summer, maybe a couple of times. Okay. And about one, one or two times, one time a year, down to Tom Powell's. Okay. Over by Taboso. Huh. Huh. And then he had like a swimming pole? Swimming, no, we swimming swam, right, swam right in the Licking River. Oh, okay, yeah. Huh. And we swam right in the Licking yeah. River. Yeah. Had a big rope down there and swing out on and <laughs> That'd be fun. Get in. Yeah. What, what else do you remember about the Wheatons and the Zergers? Do you remember anything much about them? Uh, I don't want to say it online. That, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. You're you're allowed to say or not say anything you want. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. fine. That's fine. Oh, and uh, when did you learn how to play the harmonica? I learned how to play it back in 1950. Okay, so that was after you were in the home. Yeah, that yeah. was long after. Yeah. Huh. And did I can't you... read a note of music. <laughs> Well, there's some famous musicians who are the same mm -hmm. way, yeah. Um, did you play any instruments when you were in the home? No. Yeah, okay. I play, uh, now I play the harmonica, uh, bones, and spoons. Okay, good. Huh. And you say you, you play it at Heritage Hall yeah. a lot. Yeah, Monday, okay. uh, Monday morning and Friday mornings, uh, 10 to 11.30. Okay, and I played with uh, Campo Country uh, Music okay. Fellowship Organization. Okay, good. I'm a lifetime member there. Good. Huh. Okay. Um, what else do you remember about the 
the building and the grounds that are different from okay. from the way it is now. There, you told it about the there the beside on the east side of the home where Zerger Hall is. That used to be an apple orchard. Ooh. That was an apple orchard, way up to the main street. Hmm. Right behind it was a uh, on the left was a cave where they kept uh, boot stuff in. Mm -hmm. Down uh, a little bit farther along the bank was a grape vineyard hmm. that went down toward the county barn. Hmm. Then there was a cemetery down there by the county barn. Hmm. It's got its mark now. Hmm. But up there on the bank, just uh, south of the children's home, was a brick building. It was a laundry. And a family by the name of Walpole hmm. lived upstairs uh, over the laundry. And, uh, uh, they kept uh, boilers going for the heat for the mangles to uh, do the sheets and stuff. Okay. When they uh, cleaned them, huh. and behind it was a white building. I think I got a picture of it up there, over there at uh, Heritage Hall. Hmm. It was at Jurger Hall, mm -hmm. and it was where we butchered the hogs. Okay. They brought the steam out from the boiler out and run it down in the tank. And uh, that's where they scalded a pig. They had a big uh, sled there where they uh, scalded, well, we butchered about six pigs, huh. six hogs. Huh. Huh. And a lot of times the children helped uh, scrape the hairs off, hair off of them. Oh, yeah, interesting. That'd be a real education for a, mm -hmm. for a child. Huh. Uh, never forget one time in the winter, I forget which one it was, but uh, there was a corn shock down there by the old county barn. And we'd set up a rabbit, dead rabbit down there. Hmm. And the one guy run the, the fed the pigs and chickens and cows. He went down through there one day and seen that rabbit sitting there at the corn shop. He went and got his rifle. <laughs> he shot at it about four times and the rabbit never moved before he finally went down and found out it was dead. <laughs> huh. then, did, did you have rabbit stew then? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it had been froze for quite a while. <laughs> we, when we found it, it was froze. Interesting. And uh, <laughs> there was one year, in the first week in May, it snowed so hard that we went at sleigh ride huh. down, down behind the home there for about a half hour. Really? Mm -hmm. huh. Did 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 that? Did you get the sleds or sleighs in the home, or? Yeah, well, there some of the people bought them for the okay. children. Okay. Okay. Huh. At the home. Hmm. Okay. And the county back in furnished all our clothes, okay. our meals and stuff. What were the clothes and the food like? Good. Good. Okay. Yeah, they were all good and nutritious. Did you eat a lot of pork, like from the? The pigs that you butchered? We had and, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Did all different meals. Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I remember I remember um, somebody saying that the girls had lots of different kinds of dresses. And, yeah. And uh, did as boys, did you, did you wear like a lot of coveralls denim, and denim things? Denim overalls. Overalls. The main thing. Okay. Okay. Huh. But the uh, main thing, uh, denim overalls and shirts was the main uh, clothes for the boys. Yeah. Okay. What what would was like a typical day like that you remember when you'd maybe get up in the morning till when you went to bed at night? Well, you, you had uh, swings out there. You had uh, a rotary thing there on the ground you'd get on like a little merry-go-round. Yeah. And run around it. Huh. <coughs> the sliding board. Hmm. And during the summer, uh, a lot of us worked in the garden. Uh huh. Which was a pretty big garden at that time. Mm -hmm. That was vegetables. And vegetables, sweet yeah. corn, hmm. Hmm. potatoes, and what have you. Did you have any duties you had to do in the building, or was that all the girls? Not the girls who did that. Okay. Okay. Not necessarily. Okay. Huh. Yeah. What were? Did they have any special events on holidays and? Well, birthdays? they had the one uh, fall. Um, Ice cream social every fall. Okay. Huh. There. And they did uh, carry that on here until just a while back. I think they have it down at Zerger Hall now. Okay. Not Zerger Hall, but Heritage Hall. Hmm. Now. 
Would people from the neighborhood come in yeah. for that? Okay. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay. Now, did you go to school when you I were there? I went to school there. At, uh, started out at Hazelwood. Uh, and I went there to Hazelwood. And then uh, mom, da- mom took me out, of, took us out of home in '39. I went to Riverside uh, School mm-hmm. up Bowens Corning. Okay. Then I went back to the home. And 1942, Dad took us out of the home. Huh. We went to uh, Newton Township School, hmm. uh, Marianne School. Hmm. Then we moved into Hanover in uh, 40, about 44. I went to Saboso, and then I went to uh, Hanover High School. Hmm. Hmm. But I never graduated. Okay. Well. I quit you with <laughs> Well. There's there's a lot of people who did that, and you 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 made something of yourself well, after that. Back then, you could walk out just about any place and get a job, mm-hmm. and a lot of people back then took the time to teach other people on the job. Yes. Yeah. Different things to do. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. And it wasn't that hard to get a job. Yeah. But now, a college education won't even get you exactly. a job. Exactly. It's a lot different now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Huh. And you would be surprised how many people in this country that they say is working, but they are not. I agree. They are not. Yeah, right. And they don't take count of them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're not counted as the unemployed. They're still counted as employed. <laughs> yeah. What was... No, they ain't even counted at all. Oh, yeah. They're not even counted at all. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, what what'd you say was your first job after leaving the home? Well, uh, well, I lived with Dad. We'd done our gardening. Okay, yeah. Our gardening, and I worked in the hay fields for different farmers. That's right. Now, you didn't, you weren't indentured out like some children were no. when you were at the home. No. Then. Okay, okay. We went in there in 40, or 37 and come out in 42. Yeah, okay. Huh. Yeah, there was... Quite a few different people there. Hoagley's, uh, uh, Hottinger's, yeah. our family. Then there was uh, Clyde. I can't think of his last name now. Yeah, that's all right. Did you make any long-lasting friendships from kids, other kids who were in the home? Yeah, I've seen a few of them. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Grover Sims. Okay. He hmm. was in there. Okay. He, you met him in the home, huh? Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Family by the name of Bush was in there. Huh. Would you see a lot of children come and go while you were there, or was it was it mostly the same kids mostly, all the time? When I was there, it was mostly the same. Okay. Yeah, our school was, uh, they started out at Hazelwood, and then they went from Hazelwood up to Lincoln School. Okay. Huh. Now, one one person I interviewed, he said they he and his buddies would sometimes sneak out, and get away, and go to go to movies or go buy candy at other stores and, and that kind of thing. Do you remember, do you remember no, sneaking out that, at all? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh... Maybe you used were... to used to uh, go over there just uh, north of the children's home, like over about where the expressway runs through now. There used to be a little ice cream hmm. store over there. Huh. We would uh, get a walk over there and get ice cream cones. And you were allowed to do that. Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay, interesting. Huh. Yeah, they allowed to do that. Okay. Huh. Huh. Maybe you were better behaved than some of the others. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, I have a question for you. Um, do you think they should have children's homes today? Uh, maybe, maybe run in a different way, but do you think that'd be a good idea to have today for children who are in broken homes or d- difficult situations? In a way, I would say yes. In a way, I would say yes if it was governed like it should be. Right. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because it never hurt me in there. Oh, okay, or good. Not, see. Okay, good. Yeah. Hmm. 
And I you, put uh, 40 years in at Kaiser before I retired in 94. Yeah. Hmm. What uh, Do you think um, the jobs you had at the children's home, do you think that helped with, with how you approached work later on or... Well, there wasn't that many jobs there at the children's oh, home really? for the kids, no. Okay. They had, uh, well, just like uh, I said uh, about walking along by the uh, wheat binder, mm -hmm. picking up sheaves and then putting them in the stock, mm -hmm. in the shock. That's about all the main thing we've done other than gardening, most okay. of the kids. Did you still yeah. have a lot of time to play oh, when yeah. you were there? Okay, good. Well, you had your learning, you're playing both. Yeah, okay. Good. Oh, um, the west side of the children's home was the boys' side. Uh -huh. The east side was the girls' side. Huh. How much did the boys and girls mix? Well, we did out on the playground, all of them mix. Okay. Huh. And when you'd go swimming to the when to they the took us up there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Any other memories? There's things that stand out? you remember from the children's home that you want to well, that tell us about? Well, one time we were going to butcher hogs. The old boy came down and he shot the hog about five times. All dude just stand there and shake its head. <laughs> and uh, finally one time when he shot it the uh, fourth time, told him, says, uh, you shoot it again. A couple of us kids run in, hit the hog. Oh, I'd upset him so we could uh, hmm. stick him. Yeah. That was a tough old hog, I guess. A double skull. Wow. Huh. I knowed one man that had a double skull. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Years ago. I never heard of that. Huh. Yeah, the front of the skull was double. Interesting. Double thick. Huh. That's what they said. Yeah. Huh. 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 Anything else you remember? Mm hmm. I'd probably remember a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I am. I always mm -hmm. that, that's fine. I mean, we've already we've already got a lot of great information from you, so that's that's fine. I just wanted to give you a chance if you could think of anything else. But okay, okay, oh, go ahead. We've had I've had some pretty good times in there. Yeah, and we do what we more or less what you want to do out on the playground. Okay. That's yeah. what they called the yard, the playground. So they didn't have a swimming pool there at that no. time, right? Yeah. No, never had nothing there. Yeah, right. Just like it is right now, other than the buildings it's got yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, okay. You had your uh, older boys on the second floor. Okay. And the uh, younger kids was on the top floor of the huh. building. Huh. Same way with the girls' side. Hmm. What, was, what was it like where you slept? Were there a whole bunch of beds in one room? Yeah. Okay. Beds lined, say, just like all down that wall, down hmm. through the center and over on the other wall. Okay. What What was it like eating at the meals? Were, were all the kids together yeah. at one time? Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Boys and girls. Mm hmm Okay. Was it loud, as you remember? Not too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah, because uh, Miss Zerger gave me a... a Prayer that I had to say for uh, meals. Oh, huh. When so I was a kid. So you, w you would say that for the to whole the group? whole group. Oh, huh. Do you remember what the prayer was? How how it went? Not all hand. That's all right. Huh, huh. You must have had to had to belt it out pretty loud with a group that big, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> no, they made them all keep quiet. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> huh. Did you did you switch off and other other boys some and girls others, would say it other, yeah. other times? Huh. Interesting. Did did they have you did they have you go out to different churches when you were there? Well, I, I started out at East Main Methodist. They're on uh, yeah. uh, Cedar Street and right. uh, East Main. While you were at the children's home, mm -hmm. is that right? Hmm. That's where I went. Okay. Hmm. Then that's what uh, my religion is now. Oh, okay. Methodist. Huh. How did you get there? Did you walk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. That's a little walk. I was going to say, kids these days get rides to school if they only live a few blo a couple blocks away sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Phone's going off. Ah. Okay. 
Yeah, well, that's interesting. Huh. Any, anything else you want to say about the home? Mm. What we're going to do is, I'll give you a chance to think, we're going to um, keep these recordings and then um, keep them as part of the part of the history collections of the children's home. So if anybody's interested in the home or doing research, they can listen to the recordings and and um, and hopefully one day we'll we'll type out a transcript of it mm -hmm. and um, we'll get you a copy of the recording on CD at some point if you'd like to have that. So that'd be okay. <laughs> okay. And I've had a lot of fun. I've played with. Uh... Uh, Licking County Aging Band for 10 years. Yeah. Then uh, I went to uh, uh, sound, sound Man's uh, funeral here uh, Saturday. Hmm. He died hmm. last month, but we had the hmm. services for him Saturday. Did you know him a long Collins time? Hollingsworth, yeah. 10 yeah. years. Huh, okay. Uh, huh. Marion and Pat Hollingsworth. Huh. He was 91 years old. Hmm. okay. Huh. But he was a darn good sound man. Huh. And he'd set up all the equipment. We'd help him tear them down. Hmm. We played uh, Hartford Fair, the hmm. Croton, um, played uh, Centerburg hmm. uh, Fair, Shindig. Hmm. And we played uh, all around nursing homes around uh, town here. And the mayor's concert there on the square every year. Okay. And uh, we played a uh, few churches, different places. Hmm. And uh, a few other groups, like the Elks, we played up there one or two times mm -hmm. and played over at uh, uh, Madison Grange. Huh. What other instruments are in your group besides harmonica? Uh, guitar, violin, accordion, hmm. hmm. banjo. Hmm. Mostly country music you mm -hmm. play? A little bit of everything. Oh, okay, good. Huh. I play a little bit of everything. Huh. I like old time music. Yeah, good. But I like to get one person tapping her hand or tapping her feet on the floor. That's made my day a uh, plan. Yep, that's great. <laughs> when's your next? When's your next uh, performance? Tomorrow. Really? <laughs> at uh, ten thirty at uh, Heritage Hall. Okay. Huh. Good. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to say? Mm, wait a minute. I just wanted to give you a chance. got a key bad in it. Well, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know. So it did. sounded good to me. <laughs> what song was that? Huh? What song was that? Stay all night. Stay a little longer. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> huh. Well, thank you. That was great.
Excellent. <laughs> what was that? The Yellow Rose of Texas. Oh, yeah. That's an old time. I was going to say, I've heard that before, but it's been a long time. Yeah, it yeah. has. Uh, yeah. It was uh, out when I was in the third grade of school. Interesting. You remember hearing that then? Mm-hmm. Huh. Huh. Well, that's great. Uh, thanks for that. That's a great addition to the recording. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much. And uh, we'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know when we get a recording of this for you and I'll get it to you. Mm -hmm. So, so we'll sign off for now. <laughs>